This video will show you how to master your audio to an exact true peak and luffs measurement. Luffs and true peak affect each other and therefore should be addressed simultaneously. There's a relationship between loudness units and decibels that gives an easy formula to help you hit your target levels with precision. To put it simply, 1 LU equals 1 decibel. So if your master has a reading of minus 12.3 luffs integrated and your target is minus 14 luffs integrated, then you would need to reduce the gain of the master by the difference, so 1.7 decibels. I would recommend reducing a plugin on your master chain that increases gain by this amount, 1.7 in this case. If your master was too quiet, with a reading of minus 20.1 luffs integrated, you would need to increase the gain by 6.1 decibels to hit minus 14 luffs integrated. Note, the luffs dB relationship becomes less consistent as the loudness increases. A 1 decibel gain increase of a track measuring minus 7 luffs might give you an increase of around 0.5 luffs. At this loudness, the limiter reacts less transparently to the audio. Your true peak target can be achieved with a similar approach, though rather than adjusting the gain, we're going to adjust the output on the limiter. If your target is minus 1 decibels true peak, as is the recommendation for streaming services, but your track is peaking at minus 0.23 decibels true peak, then you would need to reduce your output by 0.77 decibels. This will give you your minus 1 decibels true peak target, but will also reduce your integrated luffs by 0.77, so you will need to increase the gain to compensate. I recommend using a metering plugin such as Levels to help you get your readings as close as possible to your targets, then run your bouncer expose to get the technical summary in seconds. From here, you can make any adjustments you feel are needed. It's not always necessary to hit your targets with this kind of precision, but knowing the formula gives you a greater mastery of your music and may help you become more efficient in the studio.